Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews and Gaming Entertainment. In this episode, we explore a game that almost destroyed a franchise and set the brand back five years for the next true installment, which feels like a reboot of the series with Resident Evil Biohazard. We are talking about Resident Evil 6. I'll be honest, I never got into the survival horror craze until Resident Evil 5, where there was a lot more action and the introduction of co-op, online, and local play in the campaign and not just an added feature. This was totally fleshed out like Gears of War. The review in this episode will be based on the re-release of the PS4 and Xbox One consoles in 2016. The differences are with the graphics with better textures and a resolution at 1080p at 60 frames per second. The Xbox 360 and PS3 ran at 720p with 30 frames per second that dipped into the 20s in more intense battle sequences. Released in 2012, Resident Evil 6 did sell over 9 million copies but was critically panned for its departure from survival horror and storytelling with four different campaigns to play at about four to five hours each. You can select from Leon S. Kennedy and Helena Harper, Chris Redfield and Piers Nibbins, Jack Mueller and Sherry Birkin. The last campaign with Ada Wong can be played with a partner to assist or not. Each campaign will start to fill in all the holes and how the story comes together with about five chapters in each campaign. The gameplay is just like Resident Evil 4 and 5 with a huge emphasis on action. Everywhere you look there are plentiful of different variety of enemies that you can fight with added melee attacks that look really really cool when done are instant kills that are addicting to once you've done it once you gotta do it again and again. But I don't want to fall behind schedule. <laughs> Plenty of ammo around never leaves you scared of enemies except for the one hit kill variety like the chainsaw man or bosses that are much more like puzzles than actual boss fights. Shit, he found us. The main difference from the previous consoles is that the Xbox One and PS4 is the complete package that doesn't stutter during combat and is smooth to play. Being at 60 frames per second changes the entire outlook of the game, making it fun to play with no dips in frame rate and an absolute blast to view the Hollywood Insane action moments. Leon, ever the survivor. The game itself pushes the previous gen to its limits where the PC and current gen solves those issues. Although very much not a survival horror game, I feel the audience is much larger with this title and is something I feel they try to do to do in the end. They succeeded in making one of the craziest over the top action games that I have ever played and giving you four different ways to play it with four unique different campaigns. The only true downfall here is that Resident Evil 6 is very unbelievable at times with this Jerry Bruckheimer moment. I do understand those who hate the game for its departure from survival horror, but as a standalone action game, Capcom put their all in this one and it really shows. Too bad criticism got the best of this game before most gave it a try. I never played until now, but since I was so busy with school and work, but this is a game I wished I experienced earlier. Resident Evil 6 gets a strong 9.0 out of 10 
for its sheer enjoyment of pure and simple action game that was made over the top that even Hollywood would be jealous of. As a survival horror game, probably a 4.0 out of 10. If you're looking for action, take a look here at the Xbox One and PS4 versions. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.